Hi Stamper, today we're going to play with a uh, shaving cream. What we're going to do, it's the background. You can see I stamped the leaf on it, but I'm going to show you how to do the background with shaving cream. So you want cheap uh, shaving cream. Oops. And um, if you can find some that don't smell, that would be great. So if you play with this and your husband is not home and he's coming home, I'm sure he's going to think you've been having an affair because it's a thing. And then I'm just going to smooth it up with my finger here. I put way plenty. You don't need that much. Here we go. And then we're going to use fall color. This one I really like it with fall's color. So I'm going to be using So Saffron. No, excuse me. More mustard, artichoke, and Cajun grace. And you're going to put a few drops of each. That's Cajun grace. See how I go? And I don't follow a pattern. Some people like to follow, you know, straight and that. And I don't like to follow a pattern. I could have used some orange too in that, like pumpkin pie would have been great. This is always artichoke. Okay, after you get your drop, you're going to take a stick and just like when you do marble cake, roll this like this. I mean, not roll it, but make your lines. After I get my line on that side, I'm going to go on the other side. And when you do this, you're going to be able to do a lot of paper. None of it going to look the same. They're all going to have their own different look. Because after you smack your first time, you know, your paper, it's going to switch. Uh, I'm going to do some zigzag here. Usually I stand my line, but... Okay. You can use all different kind of paper. I got glossy, I got shimmer. I don't even think I brought some plain paper. Yes, I did. So let's start with plain uh, whisper white paper. Take this, drop it in, just push it down. I'm going to take a paper towel. Oops, lift this up. Voila. And then leave it there a bit. Then I'm going to take a glossy. You can switch it a little bit if you want. It's no right and wrong. And then I'm going to take a shimmer. And I'm going to push it more down. See this? I get a lot more. Okay, now you can take a scraper and scrape the excess off. I'm going to take a scraper here. And then really, what you could do to save some of the, you can take another paper, get two here, take it, put it on top, smash it. Then you do two for the price of one. Voila. And this, if it's not enough, you can go back. Here we go. I want to add a little bit more more uh, dab here. Here we go. This would be very awesome fall color. See here, you see all the swirl. That's what I like about it. And then this you get more. The deeper you're going to go, the more you're going to get. So let me show you this here was my mess. Okay, if you want more of the color mix, you can come back, mix it all. See how I just smear? So then we're going to have more colors. You don't want to mix too much the colors because then you're going to have, I don't know which color, brown, I don't know. Then I'm going to tap this in. This is going to be pretty. Take another one, put it on top. Really, and it would be good if you would wear some glove to do that, so then your hand won't get all messy like mine. And then where's my little scraper? It's full. And then I just want to scrape. See? And then you can take a paper towel and uh, wipe that up. That is it to it. 
So I would take a microfiber towel and just wipe and let your paper dry. Voila. This one, I like it a lot. This one, it's on glossy. So that's it, how to do your um, paper. And this one, I embossed the leaf. On top of it, it was a last piece. It was all smeared, so I don't have much color. So you can use some, you know, like this one. It's even prettier. But I didn't emboss it. I wanted to emboss it, but you get all the colors like this one. That's very pretty. So, till next time. Happy stamping!